We have a great opening speaker. Dong Yan, why don't you come up? He's, he's reading. Hey, psst. Come. Ni hao. <laughs> Hi. So, um, Dong Yan Dong Dong is Dong Yan is the uh, chief AI officer of Deep Brain Chain. Deep Brain Chain sounds amazing. It sounds like a good name. It's a, it's a great name. But he has a fantastic track record. You want to give it to Dong Yan? He has a fantastic track record, including being the GM of the AI Research Center in Shenzhen, the Research Institute, and has a long history, 20 years actually, in AI uh, here in Silicon Valley. So um, he's going to open up and give us a bit of a context of what we're talking about this morning. Welcome. Thank you. I'm very glad to be here, and thank you for GDS to give us this uh, opportunity to uh, co-host this event. Uh, I want to give you a quick introduction of uh, Deep Brain Chain. Uh, it's a company uh, started its journey about one year ago. Uh, we really focus on one thing: is a decentralized AI cloud. Uh, as we all know, the traditional cloud market uh, has been growing very, very uh, quickly. But there is one more market. Is, a scale, is really uh, is going to uh, boom very, very fast, it's an AI cloud. We have a lot of data to back this up. For example, uh, the predicted uh, uh, AI market to be almost twice of the traditional market, $520 billion of the total market. Another data point is from 2012 to now, this is according to open AI data, I think those numbers are all mind-blowing for us. We know it's a big market, and we know we can uh, be more successful in, in this market, and we know that AI is going to penetrate every single aspect of our life. However, I think with what will be different from our opinion is the future AI cloud market is so it's going to be a decentralized AI uh, market really enabled by blockchain. Uh, it's not going to be uh, like one big company or a few big companies really building up the AI clouds and for you to really go to use. It's going to be a lot of the resources, especially GPU computing power or special AI chips, really distributed across companies across the world, but connect together using blockchain security. And people can utilize them, hopefully much, much cheaper and much, much easier. This is a typical uh, cycle of how people do AI today. Uh, I've been in the Valley for 20 years, and for the last uh, close to 10 years, I've been working in the AI space. And I, ca I can tell you up to this point, there's no single exception. Company yeah. does AI this way. First, they go to buy expensive servers, uh, namely the NVIDIA servers. That's why you can check the NVIDIA stock price. It goes up every day. And second, once you have the servers, these are specialized servers with typically 8 GPU, 4 GPU, 120 GPUs, you have to have engineers to really set them up and then install the uh, training software like the Google TensorFlow, the Cafe, and uh, all the others, and then you engineer have to learn how to use those, and those software are quickly maturing, they are not really stabilized, so a lot of learning curve there. So hopefully after a few months of buying the hardware, setting up the hot hardware, and setting up the software, you are able to start doing some AI training and developing your product. So the story here is the developing cycle is actually very long, and you almost use your analogy. If you want to use a car to go to work, come to convention center, or go shopping, you're basically forced to buy uh, to build a car hardware yourself, and then build the hard software to some extent. Then you can start using the car. What we are thinking is. We should be able to deploy this car to you. You can just use it. The car hardware software should be readily available and you can just use it. So that's kind of the vision we are trying to enable. <coughs> what, uh, what are the special things of the deep brain chain? We try to really achieve two things. One is we try to achieve much cheaper computing power for AI. This is uh, achieved uh, through a few things. Number one, uh, we kind of offer a token economy, just like the Bitcoin mining. So we give uh, tokens to our uh, miners, people in our community who provide or purchase AI servers for other people to use. And we give them tokens uh, for mining reward. So in a way, that compensates them for their cost. So they only charge uh, the uh, much less uh, cost to people who rent their uh, GPU computing power. 
So the other way is for the miners, they get mining compensation, they get a rental compensation, but they only need to rent, for example, 30% uh, of the cost to the renters because the other 70% they get from the mining rewards. Very similar to the Bitcoin concept, but the difference is our mining is not all this POW kind of uh, heavy, heavy mathematical uh, calculation. It's more trying to really say you make your AI server available as a resource to the overall ecosystem, then we give you reward. Again, using the car example, it's like you put your car out in the parking lot, and you say, hey, anybody in our ecosystem can use my car. So I put the car out there for eight days, for eight hours in a day. Well, even nobody uses it, we consider that mining. We give you reward. If somebody does use it for two hours, we, you know, those, uh, the, the customer who use your car pay for those two hours rental. So you get those two uh, rewards uh, for, uh, for, the, for the usage. The second one is, we all know there are a lot of uh, idle GPU computing power or underutilized GPU computing power. Even overall, the market GPU computing power is in short supply. The reason is in companies, people tend to buy uh, GPU computing servers, but in peak usage time, you don't have enough. But during non-peak using time, a lot of GPU computing power actually are idling there. There are a lot of uh, mine, uh, mining machines, uh, especially right now in the bear market, uh, people are shutting down their mining machines, GPUs are not doing the mining anymore because of economics. Uh, there are individual GPUs, they couldn't find customers to use their GPU, but they have them. So there are all these idle resources. We believe we can use blockchain to connect them together, then we can achieve better resource utilization, can bring down the cost of AI computing power. And the last one is the easy to use software, like I mentioned. Uh, there are different flavors of training software uh, from different big companies, uh, from Amazon, Google, Microsoft, every, almost every single company has their own training software because they try to really have each company, uh, each company try to really have users using their own software for you know, capturing the center of the AI you know, future. So we really uh, independent of those opinions. We actually offer the most popular training software. We offer them out of box. We even install all the third party you know, packages so user can hopefully go into, you know, have the standard images to use the uh, AI training right away. And once we have this AI computing power platform, we believe it pays way for data marketplace, uh, model marketplace, and even this paved the way for the future of the internet AI computer. Kind of similar to the concept of Definity trying to build an internet computer, but we're really focusing on the AI piece of it. So the goal is trying to really uh, reduce the computing power cost by roughly 70%, and there is a mathematical model behind it. If anybody is interested, we can share that. Uh, but NetNet is trying to really reduce the cost of AI computing power by sharing and leveraging and by mining and token economy. And the second one is offer people the hardware and software combination to so achieve very quick time to market in terms of days and weeks rather than uh, in terms of months, it's like today's AI development. We, uh, like I mentioned, the Deep Brain Chain was formed last year. Uh, we uh, finished the ICO last uh, November timeframe, and we set up the uh, Silicon Valley Research Center in February timeframe. I joined the company in April. So we're quickly building up a team here, uh, top-notch AI researchers uh, in the uh, Silicon Valley, really focusing on AI plus blockchain research and development. From a blockchain perspective, I just want to give a quick uh, uh, introduction without going to the details. For AI to be successful, to share computing power, share data, it actually requires a large amount of transactions. So our blockchain uh, for Deep Brain Chain is a public chain. It's designed for scalability and security uh, since the beginning. So we actually designed our scalability to target to 1 million TPS, which is, uh, as you, you know, in the current market, is, is also a very, very hard target. And we're pretty confident we can achieve that. We're making good progress towards that goal as well. Uh, from security and network architecture and consensus, so all those things we put a lot of thoughts into how to enable the AI use case and scenario. From an overall ecosystem perspective, uh, if you look at the left, uh, left side chart, from the bottom is the platform. We try to enable three things, the three fundamental things for doing AI. To have computing power, which is GPU computing power, to have data and to have AI models. We want to have those three components available on the Deep Brain Chain platform so people can readily grab each of those and assemble them together uh, into uh, the applications they want to do. 
And on top of the platform, uh, we are also incubating applications uh, by ourselves. For example, the first two applications we're incubating, uh, one uh, you will see later a presentation called the Vision X, uh, is an application to really address the smart manufacturing visual inspection. So it actually utilizes the deep brain chain decentralized AI cloud platform to reduce cost and uh, improve the time to market. That's why we can deliver that project in a matter of two to three months. We already have the first level of the prototype. And the second, the application itself will attract customers and users and revenue to the deep brain chain ecosystem. Every single customer of those applications are also the customers of, of Deep Brain Chain's uh, platform as well. So we hope we can use those applications to uh, test and verify and validate our platform. Uh, we definitely welcome other AI companies to join the Deep Brain Chain platform as well to develop applications using our platform. So our focus is really focused on three things, uh, hardware, software, and uh, uh, applications. From a hardware perspective, uh, as I mentioned, we attract third-party uh, GPUs to join our ecosystem. We also kind of designed our own so-called so AI mining machines. We call the AI miners. So these are professional AI servers. We designed and manufacturing by uh, top vendors uh, of our partners, and we sell this to the customers, uh, to the miners and, and the community members who want to buy machines and offer them to use for both mining and also for renting. Uh, our first round of uh, sale, this is the back in the June, July time frame. Uh, we got 3,700 reservations uh, with value about almost over $200 million of uh, worth of uh, mine, mining machines. Of course, I, everybody know uh, we, we, to protect the miners' interest, we don't want to sell too many because there's a fixed set of tokens. And there is, if the miners are too many, then each miner's return will be less. So we, we actually did a lottery. Uh, we sold out about uh, 500 GPUs. And these GPUs will be deployed uh, later this year to early next year. And our first version of the AI training net uh, went live on August uh, 8th. So this is the first version of our software people can, GPU providers can come online to offer their GPUs. And users, either your students, uh, your companies, you can come to look for GPUs available. You can rent them at much, much lower price. Uh, at about you know, 50 cents per hour compared to Amazon right now, it's about two to three dollars an hour. So you can get the GPUs uh, for you to use. Uh, so those are the first version uh, is already available. We are improving that. And once later this year, we have our main chain live. The whole system will be, uh, you know, transferred to uh, running on the blockchain. So this will give you a sneak view of our AI mining machines. Uh, if you're in the AI space, you look at the configuration, 248, 128 GPUs. These are professional AI servers, uh, not different from the AI servers you're using, but we did some optimization for uh, you know, power consumption for uh, GPU and memory and uh, uh, hard disk configuration to achieve the best training, uh, especially deep learning performance. From a software perspective, like we mentioned, we want to offer a turnkey training environment. You basically get our machine, the software is pretty installed. So you can see here we have the, we support all the major uh, training software already, TensorFlow, PyTorch, Cafe2, MXNet from you know, Google, Facebook, you know, at Microsoft. Uh, we, we already have a lot of the models run on the uh, uh, deep brain chain ecosystem uh, successfully. For example, computer vision, NLP, autonomous driving. So we actually test those models to make sure our system can, uh, can support those. And uh, we also uh, is putting more data, like public data set, so people can utilize those data directly on our ecosystem. So we're developing this every day and try to evolve the ecosystem to make this uh, software environment much easier to use. For next year, we'll really tr begin to work on distributed uh, learning. So this is really try to use different machines, different AI servers to collaborate together uh, to do the uh, training, deep learning training together. Of course, this is cutting edge. There is no known algorithm to uh, do this efficiently today, uh, but uh, we are trying to make this happen. We believe there will be a breakthrough, just like Hadoop happened many years ago for big data. It will happen. The future is a decentralized future, not a centralized future, uh, future for AI computing. From a deep brain chain foundation perspective, as uh, you know, uh, we are a blockchain company. Uh, I'm the head of the Silicon Valley Research Center, but uh, we have a Singapore-based uh, foundation, uh, deep brain chain foundation. So deep brain chain foundation not only drive the deep brain chain ecosystem, but also drive the uh, overall uh, kind of uh, ecosystem for the 
not only the platform itself, but also for the exchange, uh, for uh, you know, funding. So you can see this chart actually uh, say, talk briefly about how Deep Brain Chain works. So the foundation basically will try to use the Deep Brain Chain ecosystem to incubate different application projects, including the two uh, application projects we already uh, incubated here and in Shanghai. Right here is Vision X, uh, the, the visual inspection company, and the, the Shanghai is a deep brain chain. A deep brain dot AI is a uh, voice AI company, and we are actually working with third party companies and evaluate uh, what are the good AI companies we can offer them a platform to use, a much cheaper and a much faster time uh, to market, and also uh, deep brain chain foundation incubate uh, exchange uh, AI focused token exchange called Deep Token. So this is a token exchange really focusing on AI projects, and it will have uh, the top 50 experts in the industry to vote which project will go on exchange or not. So it's a pretty uh, unique way of voting as uh, mining, uh, voting as mining approach. And then all those uh, uh, projects can race and run on the DBC platform. So I mentioned that the Deep Token is trying to discover the outstanding AI digital assets. There are a lot of smaller AI companies that are doing very good AI work, but they, could, they, cannot, they have a hard time finding funding or uh, get on exchanges, do ICOs, so we hope we can help on that. Uh, we have a voting as mining, and our underlining platform is actually partnering with Huobi. Uh, so there is a, a very, very uh, kind of a strong platform behind, uh, and we are listing model is uh, uh, you know, partner with Huobi as well. We don't charge any listing fee, right? So if anybody interested, you uh, can come outside to talk to our booth and we can connect with you on the, with the Deep uh, Brain Chain Foundation. Uh, unfortunately, the Silicon Valley team, uh, we're not involved in the Deep Token Exchange, but we can help you connect to the right people. Uh, just a sneak view of the Vision X uh, to close this uh, presentation. This is an application we are doing, uh, really focusing on computer vision for visual inspection, but there, there's a big X. It's trying to deliver the AI uh, solution across industry. As we all know, Industry 4.0, right, or any industry, or visual inspection, though a huge, huge market. I don't need to elaborate the number here. Uh, you can see the number just is mind-blowing to say just in China alone, there are 60 million quality inspectors, uh, and the, that costs $350 billion every year. Basically using eyes to look at, this is easier as fashion clothes, as you know, home appliances, iPhones, LCD displays, medical devices. Many of those are done by human eyes and inspection. It's not healthy for them and it costs a lot of money. And of course the quality is a problem. So what Vision X is trying to do is address a few of the key issues uh, of today in the industry. Number one, there is, industry AI is really a very much huge but underserved market. There's no mature AI solution because the very reason of each of the company have a hard time collecting enough data, quality data for the defects. If you think about this, right, I used to work for my dear group, the, the second largest uh, consumer electronics companies in the world. I run the global AI for them. Uh, if you talk about the stainless steel refrigerator, right, the defect rate is like 0.01%. So if you think about it, every 10,000 uh, you know, refrigerators, you can have one scratch. And that one scratch can be a dent, can be a scratch, can be a dent, can be a, a hole, can, can be a different type. So to collect enough data for each type of scratch, it takes a long, long time for each customer. That's why each customer have a hard time to deliver this. But if there is a way we can connect all the customers together in the same industry, or even across industries, but their data and problem are similar, we have a chance to have everybody work together to deliver the best cross-functional, cross-industry uh, AI solution. That's what Vision X is trying to do. We're trying to create a blockchain-based incentive, incentive system to have different companies working together invisibly. They, don't, they know they're working together, but they don't have to know I'm working with uh, you know, my competitor. But I know I'm working with them. We are contributing the data together. We are contributing the overall AI solution together that will benefit me as well. Right? We even have a profit sharing mechanism for the early adopters to benefit. Right? So they get tokens and also profit sharing. So later at 10.50, there is a session of this. We'll talk a little bit more about this. We hope uh, we can uh, you know, bring a different flavor of a blockchain plus AI project. I think most of the blockchain plus AI project in the market is more on the consumer based, and this is a really B two B based. So with that, uh, I hope I can give you a, I have give you a quick introduction of the deep brain chain, and uh, we have booths outside. Hopefully, uh, we can bring information to you and welcome. Uh, we welcome everybody to join 
uh, our ecosystem, uh, and hopefully we can help to move AI and the blockchain forward. Thank you very much.